I think it's going good. I feel like uh, the regular season ended on a bad note, but I think we have many things to work on and everyone is eager to play, so I'm looking forward to the next games. This is our traded scouts. Well, it's not really though. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, not, let's not ruin our, our morale, okay? Let's, let's not ruin our morale. It's not flaming. It's just like, yeah, they don't have flaming. Even though we had like a 0 3 week, like. I slept fine and yeah, off to a new week, I guess. <laughs> Today, you guys are all gonna get this, except with just your position, because like. You guys are flaming each other. Should I share each other's? I don't mind. I don't mind. We can share each other's. It's not like we're not like on this screen ever. It's fine. I'm actually, I'm actually really good at improving when I see what I'm really bad at playing. Okay. If it's gonna make you really depressed before the game, don't do it. It's. I just find them useful because you can see what other teams... Okay, it's not that bad, by the <laughs> way. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Oh, maybe Django should base more often, something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's like really not well, that no, bad. I remember like the last split, someone got like made of fucking murder, no? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, oh, really? plays with this guy, he's bad. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, no, I remember what it was. It was, this guy is the biggest strength and the biggest weakness of the team because he does... You're doing a boot check? No, you're doing a boot check. But you just asked me about my boot. Right? No, you're doing a boot check. So guys, let's, let's get on it. Let's go. Alright. Uh, Why not? Huh? Why not? I get on that. Buy for him. I do not. Okay. <laughs> 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 like, that that was true. I didn't actually ask. <laughs> it actually did ask. It actually did ask. That's true. What about you, Luca? Me? Actually, I can fuck the idea. Is that me? I think that after the coffee, and food, I might actually just be 5-5 five five today. Oh, That's what you're getting then? Yes. Actually, no. We do. Please do back to my case, sure, bro. Sure, bro. I don't have troubles. They're nightmares in your sleep. No, no, no. But I have troubles waking up early. Belly go. Um, I'm 5-5 five five today. You, as you, you're paid 5-5. Five five. I'm just going to kick my foot. Yeah, today I can't do much to play on the It's a no. Holy. 1 1. Wait, Wounded is a 2 2. Wait, Wounded, that's really fucking good, no? That's normal. What happened to the game? Bro, did you sleep good? Wounded? That's so funny. That's insane, actually. Oh my god. 4 4. I've never seen you at 4. <laughs> or like, imagine like a 5-5, five five. Sure, what would be a 5-5? Five five? Five. We would have to have to have to have yeah. to have uh, to be five. above average. Yeah, but what, what would happen if he, like imagine you say like 5-5, five five, what happens at this? In his gym, he goes to me yesterday, so... <laughs> In his gym? Yeah. He completely goes to me. <laughs> yeah, I think he goes to me, he's a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Did you write to me after midnight? I was asleep, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were asleep, yeah. <laughs> As we came, hope to get it, tell me, yeah, but you were asleep in stuff. Yeah. yeah, I fall asleep really fast. Yeah, you fell asleep instantly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't look at my phone when I land on this. Yeah. <laughs> it's better that it happens now than uh, any time later, right? Like, we have to fix our problems. Like, we will always, I mean, every team will have problems, right? And it's better that we get into the kind of like playoffs, right? Uh, and then uh, get shown our problems, I guess, and that we can like focus on fixing them. Last week showed kind of that we had like some underlying problems, right? That we maybe didn't get punished by weaker teams. <laughs> as bad as it sounds, you know, like I want to be optimistic. Like it was a like decent wake up call, you know? So uh, we had like a good talks already and uh, I think we can be like more confident, I guess. that uh, we are working on our team fighting and macro understanding. I think a lot of mistakes that we made against BDS uh, and against Vitality were due to us playing a bad macro game. Of course, there's some individual mistakes where people just died for no reason, but that's up to them, not the whole team. Wait, my tenacity is banging. The tenacity value is banging.
here doing, doing the protest with the Chinese girl out of her group and then she said we should fight here. If the beer is good, so we need to call the hey, okay, let's fight. We yeah. are still fight for just settle on them and we will win for sure. Yeah, I mean for sure we win. But we need to call like like we fight to go over like with BTB for like all point with you. That right now, in a situation like this, we come to we come to Drake, we have a we have a we have a blue comp, right? We pushed our top, nice. Everything about the top. Every time, right? Like, top here, we should always just, if someone wants to show the top lane here, when we come out of this, we should just, I mean, we are all going to win. Yeah. And if no one shows on the top lane by the time here. We have all, like, a lot of experience, right? So when it comes to macro, sometimes our opinions differ, and then uh, we are not as, like, quick as a team that is, like, that has like one opinion or like one shot color and then just like does it what what they say right and i think we are like trying to fix like how do we approach um yeah just like being on the same page and like in general just um yeah having the same opinion about like where we should go Firstly, they play through side, we're going to look at that really quickly. But the main purpose of them playing through side, the aggressive wards that they kind of place, they do that right now. But they drag, they sit around here and they wait, they're not even particularly threatening it. I mean, I guess it's not a fight on the way out if the yeah. guy is moving right. Yeah. Too and we know they will retake, you can always just think about like where you can put ward to see the flank coming, you know. Because this ward will get swept for sure. But let's say this ward will play not get swept, and then maybe you have vision here. Or maybe you ward here, and then we can play to this side, right? So I just think, yeah. I'm not even joking, I actually just realized we were playing on Western 3. Yeah, we have been. Oh, so key thing here. I'm not just just playing for like one quick loss. <laughs> okay, guys, guys. Okay, so I'm, this is the final thing I'm going to show. Okay, so key thing here. This is just snapshot vision setup. Well, I think BD is a strong team, right? They are one of the teams that finished with seven wins and two loses, same as G2. Is that so in their ability or? Ask me a song. You're supposed to leave the three. Yes. We're supposed to leave the three, guys. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, you better on the camera, please. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think like BDS is a pretty good team, and I think like the meta kind of suits them as well. I think, uh, especially in best of threes, um, where we can like adapt a lot uh, to what they draft uh, a lot more, I guess. Like, I, I live. No, you are a coach. You can lead strategy. If you want to lead, sure. You are a performance coach, all or not? Strawberries and Red Bull, perfect combo. Okay, let me play one game without makeup. Okay. If we lose, if we lose, I will. I ask makeup. You go. I make up every day. At home, like I would make up myself every day. Do you record it? I make up every day. Record it? I, I, I would day. like, like paint my lips and shit. I can't even make up actually. No yeah, problem. actually, I think like the hard rose <laughs> feature, like dark rose. I think so. Yeah. That's actually feature. That's what we ask you. Well, how does you guys know? What the fuck? The F word. How does you guys know? Please. Oh fuck. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, like the guy who is like brings like the smiles down from people. But, and, like, you know, you know, you like growing the farm. You want to look at my picture? Like with the team, with the boys. Wait, with good boys? I don't know, with us, I guess. Bro, if bro, he thinks on this, on the team. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, sorry, I can't sh sh shut up. You think of what? This guy is drinking tea with a bird? He's having a tea cup with a bear. Bro, thanks, bro. It's fucking rough. This is like a dash of bread. Bro, thanks. Before we do this. I think BDS as a team plays pretty well around side lane. I think they are good at uh, covering their sides and I think Adam is good at cheating waves. 
I feel like it's just how they played for like always, so it's nothing new. Um, their plays are similar. Um, obviously, again, it's nothing surprising. We just need to play better than them because we know how they want to play. Stick to one style almost always, and just uh, play well in in that like style. But it also makes them like a bit predictable, right? So I think uh, we should have like a good read on them, and we should be able to like read that players. Huh? For the first best of three in the playoffs for the winter season, BDS first team heretics. Focus on ourselves. Don't let them catch you. We know how they play. Like don't don't allow them to play their game. Think about vision all the time. Right? Um, okay. Go on stage, punish them. You guys in here, let me tell them. Let's go ahead and show them what Okay. Yeah, one to three, three. one their goat. Make those goats regret. One to three, one their goat. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no, no. One to three, one their goat. One, two, three. Yeah. Right on the edge, he doesn't know. He didn't see it coming. Move forward, Q back, instant, easy smash there, fall up on the bear stance. Get more ramp stance, excuse me. Adam taken out, nice counter punch. Really hard for Team Heretics to force here, unless Yanks wants to pull commit, and he does. LeBron now gonna try to body block. Shao, Alti could be big, that's the equalizer coming down, but they're just body blocking the Q's coming in from Perks of the Wall, and they do not matter. Shao still standing. Zin Zhao, oh baby, but a two man lockup coming in from Kaiser is big. Shao now running, keep your eyes on ice in the back line. The piercing arrow has to hit, and it does. Nuke still stepping forward. One is gonna decide how they wanna close this one. And it seems like split pressure is the answer. Shao's gonna try to make the spot wave catch up. Team Heretics see an angle to force the play and are trying to lock him up. Kaiser gonna find the stun, but ice is untouched over the wall. Kaiser is dead, no doubt in my mind, as ice is on a rampage. LeBron body block. He makes sure Black can't get into the fight now. It's just Yanko has to run for the hills. BDS. Top rope right now. There is no perfect choice at this point. Yanko's gonna step in. Lockup is now coming in. Excellent Bartle to interrupt the play. Perks, does he have any follow up damage? LeBron getting chunked down. Carry on the back line untouched. Nuke starting to do a bit more. Equalizer now coming down. Black in trouble. Will just get cut out by Shao. Yanko's on the run. BDS cleaning up in the fight. One last desperate attempt from Team Heretics. We'll need to look to recover in this best of three coming into game two. And it's a pull off fountain dive. Well, at least get a kill back. BDS. I mean, I'm, I'm completely fine playing Kalista, but I'm just saying, like, this is enough to use this summer play. But, but my question is, we don't want to play this kind of draft where we have to back us, right? Because, like, we're still contesting when the first one objects. Yeah, but I mean, uh, sure. But, but if I get Zen, it's like. I mean, okay, we are still, like, the game changes, right? Let's yeah. say we have Kalista, Zen, and we have Nautilus or Brom or yeah. something. We are the ones going in, right? If I would have made the call, I would have just said, just let me get top yeah. tier one, and yeah. I don't but see you should, you yeah, but, 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 we but, we but I was asking, like, five times, like, do, we, do you guys actually want to fight? Like, yeah. do we win the fight? And you guys said, yeah, 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 we win the fight, we win the fight, we win the fight. I so don't think they really say that, actually. So you guys did say that you guys I mean, are to win, because I just saying, I'm just saying, I think it's okay, like, I think I could have pulled it off before, like I should have no. also used my brain, but if I say like Rumble is gonna be there, I can match with TP. Yeah, Do you guys want to take the fight? Yeah. We should right. for sure. Uh, like, uh, we have two more. We have one more minute. Okay. So so in that case, then we run back the same drop and we go red side again. Take out Malkai. Yes. Play to, this play to fist fight them to the death, and then we we at least fight. Right now we don't have to scale anymore. We go Callisto's in here. If like they goes, uh, guys, like I, guys, the, guys yeah, I would rather not give them their virus step on every game. Basically. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, 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 they won like every game no, no, over and over again. Obviously, then, we, then you want to play Sin into Malkai, or we want to play Sin into I think we should play Vi, no? Uh, Younger said that Vi is a bad I, I, can, I can pick Vi 1-2, or I can pick Zin 1-2, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. I think we should just match what they pick. If they pick support, we should pick support. If they pick mid, we should pick mid. Okay, and sure. then they, they definitely have to pick Jungle. Yeah, they'll pick jungle, yeah. Okay. So they're gonna pick jungle support or jungle mid. And we okay. just match them. Call for this play on side, like we call for one try before. Basically, they just keep doing that. That, uh, and then that's it, yeah. Let's go. Welcome back to the LDCS BDS grabs a convincing win against Heretics here in game one. It was not an easy one for Heretics and honestly hard to come back for them here. Thank you very much for a
Rob tech flashing in. It's going to be the hookup. Now it's going to be 2v3 right off the bat because Rob is going to go down with the Ignite Zark. Taking out the flak and flak and knock back to the wall. One kick kill, but now the Mars gets to start to take over. At least another one traded back. Body blocks coming in as long as they block the ball breaker. Maybe Ice can live. Ice flashing out to safety. Flash forward from Yank goes to seal the deal. And now looking. But maybe it's the ball lane that needs to learn theirs. Team Hair takes the counter punch. Excellent ball breaker to interrupt initially. Now the alt follow up to make sure that nothing else connects. Ice gonna be in trouble. Kaiser now following up. Let's crank. Hook. Pull back. They've locked him in. Black and now getting pulled away. But LeBron gonna be the one in trouble. Team Heretics taking over on the bottom side of the map. Next ball breaker. Kaiser gonna take aggro here initially. Ready to move out if he needs to. LeBron gonna get taken down. Shao on the way in. But nah. Objective ready to go down. Shea ready to body block. Yanko's gonna go to the pen. He's gonna take one away. Soul point for Team Heretics. Knock back immediately on a broad line. Adam in the backside. Just trying to one shot Flack it. But the ulti. Kaiser doing everything he can to keep Flack it alive. And they'll do it. They keep their man standing. Wonder getting ushered out on the backside of the fight. But he is still up. Two members down. We guess really need to get aggressive here. Response now coming in from Nuke. TP now coming in as well. No interruption. Man advantage in the fight for the side of Team Heretics. But a nice start to it. The immediate shutdown as LeBron gets the kill credit onto Yankos. Perks trying to kick things off, but he only manages to lock down two. Adam gets pulled back into the back line. And Judges gets deleted, but he keeps on spinning for just a little bit too long. Ice is untouched. Nuke is untouched. Shockwave on to two. And down go BDS. It's a triple for Ice. Strong, he's got Trip Blue now. He's gonna hurt. Oh, back there, but there's no real follow up. Perks already spotted out on the wave. Shayon now stepping forward. Instant ult to knock up two bars. All now gonna follow. Perks cleansing out, but he just has ult to get out to safety. BDS. They get this fight. Yankos just gets to run. They can try to turn back on a LeBron, but here comes Nuke. Eyes on the Oriana. Eyes on the potential shockwave. Instant follow coming in from Adam. Instant two man shockwave. BDS cleaning house. Nowhere left for Team Heretics to go. Yeah. Shayon just playing better in the fight. It's out executing, out performing. They're going to keep on the upper bracket as they take down Team Heretic with a relatively... Oh, this okay, we'll see who that team is tomorrow. Make sure to get good rest because next week we're going to push really, really hard. Yeah. I I can like I mean, do you want to know what the issue is? Yeah, let's go backstage. Let's go backstage. Thank you. They have control, and we are not like mega going in. Let's say, let's say, bike list of this is like going full send it. Then I can't go in, basically. Sure. But, but, I mean? but what happened in, in the Drake fight is when the comms come out, we'll listen to them. But what happened is, first, we come to the Drake, and somebody asks, I think it's Wanda, do we go on the four or do we go on the gap? I was asking that. Okay. Okay. Just ignore everything and just focus on the Nash. Like, even if we, you know, like, we don't maximize everything, just get the Nash, guys. No, I mean, I agree. Just, just, just okay. go get the Nash, and the game is so fucking quick. Yeah. Like, we don't need to I get... I mean, the game was, like, already, off, like, very... Like these okay. first like game, essentially, let's put it down to four to four to four major incidents, right? Okay, first major incident is where Shield play like I'm gonna say, sometimes you just have to credit the opponent, like the way they don't he, he insta reacts, okay, to when you go and see the fight on the third rate. Because otherwise they literally get aced there and then the game is on, right? Okay, second thing is the Herald, third thing is the Baron, uh, and uh, fourth thing is, you know, maybe this draft is not, it's, it's hard to play, right? We wanted to, like, flank them or whatever, right? But we kind of played, played like, front to back with this comp. Yeah, I guess we played a little ball. Like, we played really front to back, and in this game we have, like, Nico mid. And if it, it becomes, like, really fucking easy for them when they see all five of us in their screen. And I think they really often saw all five of us in their screen. And I think that's, like, the main reason why, because, like, Drake felt really awkward when we were, like, all going from the same side. And we were yeah, just getting pushed yeah, out. So like, yeah. I would just be tanking damage for free, but we had actually no one to hit them because, I mean, it's obvious, right? Like, Nico can throw, like, a, Nico is not good at, like, running yeah. into people and throwing spells, yeah. but a champ like Oriana can do that, for example, if yeah. she's not like yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. To, to me, this second game, yes, the second game is annoying, right? Because we had a chance to win, but this first game, like, I'm, I didn't want to say after the break, but when you go back and watch it to this first game, we play, like, literally as badly as we possibly can. Yeah, but if you watch this game, like, the first yeah. game, 
I'm, I mean, I'm not sure we should like invest more time in like talking draft and stuff. But like Kalista on three is like war crime. Like going Kalista there, wanting us to go like back and forth with Maokai. And sure, guys, you say you can play, but I'm telling you, this 3 3 bot set is not playable. Yeah, it's I was so fucking useless, it was crazy. But the thing is, like, the reason I thought like Bard was good is because, like, we, like, they have two immobile ADCs, right? The Zinzo is bad as well. Like, I feel like they should not be able to play, but I think, like, we just fell too far behind, and then we just no, couldn't I lose. I don't, think so. I don't know whether it's because of draft, whether it's because of the situation, but basically, it felt like we were really, really stressed. We kept feeling we needed to force something, so I was like, okay, if we're gonna force something, let's go ahead. I mean, the thing is, we, we, game one we can't need to force, even though we don't have the best tools, we need to force. For yeah. next week, um, I mean, we said it last week, right? But we said it and we didn't do it, like, we should focus on like, one playstyle. I'm done to do snowball early game, like, this game too, I think we can play it for sure. We need to get more used to, but I'm done to play like, scaling, like, kind of like BDS is doing. They're playing like, mega stable game and then they just play the macro. I don't mind, but for sure I want to focus on one playstyle. And I don't want that happens what happened today on draft at least. Like gameplay, sure it's a player fault, we fucked up. But on draft, I don't really want to like like today game one, main grid draft, first three, game two, we go in game and I see my, my, my jungle mega confused if we're buying shield or buy. So I mean no no, it was coach actually. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I yeah. thought we were getting buy, yeah, yeah, yeah. you thought we were getting But but like, I saw your first and I, and I was like the same, like what are we doing? Like I went into game two and I didn't know what we were doing. Yeah. So for sure. I mean, as well, I think we're, we're like mega choking today, but it's like whatever. For next week, for sure, we focus on like one same playstyle and comp. And if we need to spend 10 hours talking about draft, we do it. But I don't want that to happen. I, I think that's fair. So that, that's on me, right? It's fine. It's fine. Like, okay. like, I, 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 like I, don't want, I don't want to like, you know, like point three. I don't want, I no, think but, but I mean, like, like, let's be clear. Like, this is a fair thing to point three on, right? Like here. Okay. No, but, but okay, like, I'm telling you, it's completely fine. Even if my jungle is fucking match fixed, I wouldn't care. Today we were the worst team, and it showed. I don't mind. But for next week, I really want to like fuck everyone, okay? Like I, I, I want everyone to like try hard the fullest, and I want to just go on stage and be confident about ourselves. Because I these two games, like after the game one and even in the draft of game one, I mean. I, I just like went in game and I, I'm not gonna say I choke, but like, I mean, I went game one already, I can't play. And the game two, we are talking a bit about draft in like backstage and we're like mega nervous. So I want for sure to be like way more calm. And how you get more calm is by making everything clear and making everything like full sure. And I think. I mean, we're gonna get like more chances of winning that. Not a calm issue, what we, what we drafted. Sure. It's just that we. I'm not used to playing this. Yeah. And I think right. it showed. Like I think if we were if we something we were used to playing, we would have probably played it better. The feeling, of course, after the 0 3 week going into playoff 0 2, um, I mean, of course, it's not great, and uh, everyone can tell that we are like a bit, um, I mean, a bit pressured, you know, like we want to win, but most importantly, we want to, to show that we are a good team. I mean, I think everyone is like pretty strong mentally in this team. Um, I don't think there's like people, you know, like feeling too, too down or like too. I'm not too depressed or too mad or triggered about the game. It's like not, not an easy week, but um, everyone is like try harding still. No one is doing like anything like outside like the, the normal stuff. Like no one is, I don't know, like we're not like yelling at each other or like fighting or, or anything. We're just still trying to find like the way, you know, how to be on the same page and how to make everything click. 
because I really believe we are we are really strong players individually. But um, I mean, for some reason, when we go on stage, we 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 are not showing that. Uh, that's all. And how do you recognize if you kill people or get objectives? You go um, yeah, go to face other key uh, and more other key stuff. So yeah, this week has been better in that sense. Our practice has been uh, a little bit more efficient. We are learning things and I think we our level, overall level is, well, more like the second game we played against PDS, which was like a little bit closer and we actually played like somewhat well in, in different stages of the game. And we're just, we're looking to get good at all of them and uh, actually be able to play a full game clean and play it well. We trying to fix like a lot of stuff that is going on. We're like basically like talking every single day. We're like having like a so many meetings and uh, we're just like discussing the game constantly but like um, I mean it just sucks right because like last week we were like doing exactly the same but like this week we're like like putting even more hours we were staying in the office until like later and we have like doing like meetings after scrims um, but yeah I mean it sounds like you know like uh, I'm saying like I don't know like I'm just saying stuff so the people think we're working but we are actually like putting like so much effort but just for some reason when we go on stage we we kind of just show like how good we are but um i mean we're just still grinding we're still talking about the game we are we are thinking a lot about the game and um I mean, it's just not clicking but like i'm sure like the day it clicks we are gonna be so fucking good it's for three of us oh my god he flashed Oh my god, did you question Mark? <laughs> no, okay, I, I, like, I took it up, I went to his staff, I smiled in that way, so it was completely fine. <laughs> Ugly! <laughs> Two people collapsed on me, I died, and now I killed him again. Oh my god. Who is it? Who is it? I don't know. 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 Don't trigger me, okay? It's so angry. Don't trigger me. Don't trigger me. It's so angry. Is it two works? Did you go war at 14? Yeah. Serious? In your mom's how is that? How is that allowed? Like? How can you say this? I, I can't believe Luca can joke like that. I yeah, just can't believe it's it. It's like so fucking like. It's so I'm messed up. So many is it wrong because I'm old, I can't do this. <laughs> no. Of course you can't. I mean, just we are like trying to be serious with this team and trying to like, you know, bring some like, m like minimum ground, but. Okay, no, or, or like, because what will happen is we'll go and then show this match. But is this. Sorry, I'm actually. It's elimination time. We're in the losers bracket. The first matchup starts. We're still BO3s, by the way, guys. Already looking for the skirmish. Three versus two as well. On to Kaiser from level one's good, but Flack is without him for the time being. Ignite down, he's just there. Over to Niski as well. No, first blood given over the top. Doesn't even opportunity from under Greece. Oh, man, it's so dangerous, especially with concussive blows up against all. It's rough. The dive gets messy, though. Isma's gonna die. I really believe we, we, we are the better team even though we're playing like not the best, but I, I'm really confident going into, into this game. Zach Niski takes himself a nature's grass and the angle is massive. One sent out from Wonder, excuse me, Yangos, but it won't matter. Death charge in the back line as irrelevant has just been altered into everyone. Why did Wonder do that? As they bounce up, maybe it turns around. Somehow it turns around. Okay, Wonder, I'm so sorry. It worked out perfectly. Door through the front. Perks with another kill. Wonder's looking for more meat. And Niski tries to flank, but Flacken makes short work of that. Perks running in once again, even without the ulti. It's a comeback in game number one, but that's all you need for Team Heretic fans to be excited for game two. Welcome back to the NEC in this elimination match here as Heretics pick the first game against SK Gaming. It's 
do or die, literally. I know that's a cop out, guys. I know you're here. Do or die, it's a must win. Kaiser running for his life. Dos goes into the quickness. The fire's out. Yankos is out. Jumps back in. Base call from X Kick. Looking for a re engage. It's a good shove. It's a triple knock up. It's a bouncy castle. Happy sixth birthday party is perks. Flies in on top of Miski. And it turns around again when I get excited for SK. And this is not much they can do. There's the Weaver's Wall again. Zones off mid. Wonder almost gets caught between it. Now SK is a four stack. They're going to push through. But Chains Corruption lands on the X Kick. They're trying to save his life. But Wonder's in again. And X kicks down. How is he dead? Team Heretics defending their base. This was off to the left. Yankos almost dies to the right. He's up to defend this base. So you've got 30 seconds of Rambo, but it doesn't matter. Black Blackage. is by himself, but is he really? He's got Emilio by the side. The fire down. He flashes out. Chains of Corruption. He tries to fight it, but he doesn't. But Perks flies on in. X Kick, though. They'll finally do it. I think this is it, Dag. The Perks is dead. SK, it only took 20 minutes. But here we are in front of the base, back again. The Nexus exposed. We are going the distance. We are going more than the distance. But Niski might find this himself as he pops out. The ulti doesn't connect. Kaiser goes over it. Death charge on Niski. Maybe an opportunity for Team Heretics as Golden to buy time. It's teleports coming in galore, but irrelevant. Lands a three man. In the meantime, they kite back. And Niski saves the day. We've got a spiraling despair onto Isma. It kills Niski in the meantime, but irrelevant. And now Flunk is dead. Oh, do the Mr. Krabs up. Arr, 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 arr. Hector Kick is cashing in again. He loves his money. Engage. He's a little bit early running through. The rail comes in from the back end. It's a beautiful ulti. But flying through the whirling death is even worse. It's irrelevant. Flies on in. <laughs> Keep it. Jesse engaged. Niski can't be part of the fight, but he has to stand aside as X Kick runs on back in look at the spiraling death it's perks is doing the damage a big shutdown but the range finally comes through x kick gets a kill niski comes over the wall perks is out but why did niski do that well, he he to go. it's gone dagda isma also makes sure work of that isma gets engaged it's irrelevant rather the flip back is great from niski too yankos comes in late the spiraling spare's good but sk have done it it's a triple immediately over to x and kick yeah. team heretics are gone it's a super team into super nothing until spring but it's SK's journey now, waiting to see what Fnatic can provide. A 2-1. Me sabe malo, es como muy de cara dura venir aquí y decir que estamos trabajando un montón y dejándonos los huesos cuando luego vamos a stage y jugamos como jugamos, pero esa es la realidad, eh, estamos trabajando al máximo, estamos poniéndole mucho, mucho esfuerzo y mucho empeño y la realidad es que no se está viendo reflejado, así que por esa parte pues eh, pedir disculpas obviamente a todos los que nos apoyáis porque la verdad es que no son partidas en las que pierdas y digas bueno pues han jugado mejor, son partidas en las que nos estamos vomitando encima y obviamente no es una sensación agradable y para vosotros también supongo que no, pero que obviamente eh, necesitamos vuestro apoyo, es, o sea, eso es muy importante para nosotros.